Hey everyone, welcome back. We're currently in the southern area of Skyrim, kind of close to Riften, but more sort of in between Iberstead and Riften. So, cause Iber actually we're pretty much near Iberstead, so... If you remember, we just finished the Nordic Spirit Animal quest line last episode, where we were rewarded with a crappy necklace. So, that was cool, I guess. But I thought this episode we would maybe go. And just sort of see what adventures await us while entering Riften. So it's a little bit of a walk, but I do think that, hmm, let's see. I think I'm gonna go to the farm and just walk there, making the uh, total trip a lot less time. Usually my load time takes a little faster than that. That was kind of weird. But, uh, here we are. Oh, there's a cave over here. Let's go see what a fun adventures await us inside of it. Because, why not? Oh. Ah, it's... okay. Alright, so looks like there's going to be no cave exploration, because that is the Nightingale Hall, which is a part of the Thieves' Guild quest line, and you get to enter that after it is revealed that Mercer Frey has betrayed the guild. So... Want to get into Riften, use the north gate. My orders are to tell the Riftraff to use the north gate. That's it. No, you can use the north gate. Mm. Welcome to Riften. I don't want to go to the north gate. Fine, you stupid guards. You'll regret this. Alright, uh, we're on the docks by the looks of it. Um, I don't think there's a way to get... Oh no, there's a little... Ah, uh, of course. There's no direct path to get to, uh, the other side. What am I? Alright. Alright, we're finally at the north gate, apparently. So... Hold there. Before I let you, into you are literally the same guy. Okay, so let's see what we have to deal with. Brynjolf is going to try to make a steal from uh, Medici, or no, steal from, uh, yeah, steal from Medici and plant it in the branchy's pocket. That guy is going to yell at us for renting the city and say that we don't know anything. Um, Brynjolf is going to accuse us of not earning an honor, an, an honest coin in our life, and then Sapphire is going to be shaking this guy down. So, boy, is there a lot that happens in the first five minutes of walking into the city. Oh, 
Uh, let's, uh... Do we have anything, like, less embarrassing to put on the character? No, not really. I just don't want to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Hey, you. Get over here. I don't know you. You and Rifton looking for trouble? Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have Rifton in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Hmm... I'll just stay out of your way. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. Hmm. Imperial gauntlets. Steel armor. Steel boots. Hmm. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. <sighs> she may seem heartless, but... She's actually, um... Sort of a tormented soul. If you uh break her and finally ask her about her backstory, it's it's pretty uh pretty depressing actually. So she's got a pretty good reason for being uh, stone cold. You gonna buy something? Take a look. Um, let's see. I need to go and disenchant a lot of my stuff. I just sold my pickaxe by accident. Whoops. Hmm. Yes, I have a lot of stuff that I need to disenchant. Hmm. Looks like I'll be giving Medici a visit. <sighs> Come back when you're ready to speak with the gold. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? This guy's really cool. Just what you see here. Let's see. Here you can have all my silver garnet rings. Traditional Saxlier jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Thank you, Lance Strider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. The ivory from this tusk will be perfect for the inlay on my amulets. Travels, Landstrider. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Shut up. That's not true at all. He's gonna keep following me around too. That's the worst part about Brynjolf Elf in this early stage. It's like, just back off. So what I was gonna say before Brynjolf Elf rudely interrupted me was like, for some reason, whenever like he says Landstrider, I don't know why, but uh, I was like, that's kind of like a weird like ASMR moment for me for some reason. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? If you need any more Let's see, do I have any pelts? 
I have a goat hide. I have sneer. Uh, yeah, 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 I have pelts. Okay. Move out of my way. Okay. You are such a con artist. You go, Medici. You sell honest work. I probably shouldn't be talking because I know for a fact I'll be joining the Thieves Guild pretty soon. Hmm. There we go. So the reason why I'm doing the leather braces, because I know that sounds really weird repetitive, is because it slowly builds your smithing. Very, very slowly. But it's a good way to get rid of all the pelts that you have built up. So. The Thieves Guild used to run this city. They're nothing but braggarts and bullies. Excuse me. I need to use your enchanting table. Or arcane enchant, whatever, same thing. Hmm. Maybe not quite yet. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep these ones for later. Other than that, I should be mostly good to sell a lot of my other stuff. Hi. Alright, I want Chilrend. And I'm going to go get it right now. Because... There's a cool trick that you can use to get into uh, Mercer Frey's house early. Because they like try to lock you out here. There's also that right there. But they, what they try to do is they try to keep you out of there. By any means possible. So there's no easy way to get there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up there. Watch me. So we're going to go around this way here, and then we're going to go, and we're going to get in here. It's kind of weird. It keeps, I like, bringing me out of the, uh, lockpicking screen. Here we go. Okay, so it's in that area right there. There we go. Okay. So this is Mercer Frey's house right here. So there's a way that you can actually sneak onto into his house by using the uh, the roofs right here, and then you can get onto the uh, the fence and then go up here and let's see. Then you can kind of break the game, I guess, and. Pretty soon we'll be able to jump down there. We gotta find the perfect spot. There we go, right there. There's a bunch of weird little spots where this model isn't properly meshed. And then, boom. And then... There we go. And we're in. So now it's time to... 
go through. You have got to be kidding me. Bull crap, there's no way you know you know I was here. Let's see. You're a Nord. So burning is gonna definitely hurt you. I try to avoid doing hack and slash because that just makes it a little too easy. Especially when you have a weapon that not only burns them but also drains their health and gives it back to you like a vampire. Yeah. Okay, fine, whatever. So for those of you who probably haven't really played Skyrim intimately and have spent over a thousand hours accumulated on both Xbox, Xbox One, and PC, um, later in the Thieves Guild quest line, you're sent to go through... Mercer Frey's house and um, find plans that he has to basically um, steal from the Thieves Guild and then to steal ancient Dwemer artifacts. And this actually leads to there's a fake panel behind this one here, or maybe it's this one. It's one of these two, but we're going to go down to the basement real fast. And, you know, there's all that. And in the secret little layer where he has all his plans and whatnot, um, there's a display case with Chillrend in it. And Chillrend is an extremely powerful sword that is of the glass variety and freezes your opponent mid-combat. So, it's not going to be this one, but there is still some good stuff in here. It's going to be this one, the Suspicious Cabinet with a back panel flask. Um, and then it's going to be through here. Got to be careful though, because there's a lot of traps. So this is actually kind of an interesting way that they did it here, but there's actually burn marks that tell you which ones are real and which ones are fake. So we just got to walk around like that. There's a trap right there. There's a chest here for me to loot. Did I trip something or is that just kind of... One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ah, I got caught in the log. Mm. I went a little too soon. Hmm. I'll just eat some food. Because, you know, I, I'm currently holding cheese wheels. Any man that can eat 15 cheese wheels in a row is a man that I would never want to mess with ever. I mean, think about it. What's scarier? Some big old buff dude at the gym or a dude that's capable of eating 15 cheese wheels in a row without hesitating? I don't know about you, but that's honestly terrifying. Gentleman's Guide to White Run. Let's see if this is even worse reading. Hmm. Whatever. Um. Oh, let's see. Let's uh. Take this bull here. And we're just gonna bust of the gray fox. Hey, that's a that's an oblivion reference. We're just gonna gently empty the bull onto the floor and then pick up all the fun stuff. Um, many thanks. This is from M, or this is two M from R. Uh, Mercer's plans, the lusty Argonian maid, volume one. Oh boy, is this a treat to read. 
but um yeah it's a uh, pretty much a fan fiction gone terribly wrong and here is chill Rand right here Watch as I run into lockpicks. There we go. Hmm. <sighs> Come on. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get me. Right there. Right there. There we go. Give me that. Alright, we just got Chill Rend literally a lot earlier than we should have so that's pretty cool I guess all right so we're in the Ratway vault right now and this is actually pretty much um, outlast before outlast was a thing so the ragged flagon. We're gonna be wanting to go into there pretty soon, but what was that? oh, maybe not. We're gonna. So he's gonna go up there and pop out. I'll be here. So we're gonna be waiting for him. I was getting irritated. Yes, yes, you were. But we want the orcish bow so we can sneak. So, he's going to go back. We're going to see him walking down there. Maybe. But in the meantime, let's just take it slow. And see if there's anyone that we can quickly dispatch. Some poor Nord didn't quite make it out of there. Let's see. We gotta be careful here because there could be someone just sitting and chilling. And that is someone that we can quickly, quickly get rid of as long as we're careful and avoid picky bounding boxes. Oh, whoops, hi. Um, let's, um, have him be subject one. I think he's dead. I may have overdone it just a little bit. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. So it sounds like two people just got into a fight. Okay, we just ended him. Probably should have charged that arrow all the way back instead of doing a premature release. But. There we go.
There's a Thieves Guild marker there for a loot stash. So let's see what's in here. Draven's Bow. Alright. Interesting. I'm pretty sure Draven is a member of the Thieves Guild. So the Warrens is not an area that we want to go to because uh, that's where Esburn and um, a lot of the other crazies are kept. And I don't want to go down there right now because we have some old lady that will follow you around and kind of like, you know, hit you every now and then. Then we got some dude that like locks himself in his room. If you go in there, he'll attack you. And it's kind of a spooky place. So let's not go down there quite yet. Um, hmm. There it is. So the ragged flagon is pretty much the thieves guild so this is the thieves guild um this is the thieves guild setup point there's a secret entry point to get into the uh christine behind there so we're gonna go through the rat way real fast this is not the Ratway Vaults or the Ratway Warrens, but this is, um, yeah. Pretty much, we're just dealing with some low lives. We're going to qu quickly clear them out with, uh... That's why I like Chill Rend, because it just freezes them solid. Hold on. Oh, this is a hat. Okay, that's a hot for some reason. Pickpocket. Cool. A lot of tankards. Um. Huh. Interesting. That was already down. Okay. Ah! That didn't scare me. Hmm. Right there should do it. I know where that door leads. I'm just unlocking it for the points. Okay. Let's go... Huh. Interesting. A lot of bear traps. Oh! Jeez, dude. Wait a minute. Hold on. Ooh, 10 additional damage plus the Khajiit Claws. That is what I'm talking about. Hmm. All right. Oh, come on. Okay. Hmm. Not quite an area I want to be in, but whatever. A 
lot of embalming tools. Kind of gross. Is that are those enchanted? Nope, they're not. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm kind of going through this backwards because you're supposed to go in through a different direction. But. Yeah, because you are definitely not supposed to be going through uh, the rat way this direction, like, at all. I just went in a giant circle. Alrighty. So now it's time to go this path, because we kind of, you know, just went around and whatnot. So, okay, there's going to be two guys up here. Um... Okay, one does bow, and one does, um, that, so let's cut through him, easy, let's take some of those fun stuff that he's got, now let's go after you, easy. So, we pretty much just cleared through the rat way pretty early, so that's kind of nice. That's not something I have to worry about later on. Huh. But hey, whatever. So there we go. Now we have the, ch um, the chill rand and the rat way cleared out pretty early. So... <sighs> And there's something I go take care of real fast. So, this is technically a Dark Brotherhood quest, and this is one of the only people in Skyrim that you can justifiably kill that's an innocent civilian without having the guards come and arrest you. So, and it's sort of a justified death, because if you, um, if you listen to the way she was treating the children, it's kind of, you know, disgusting. So... There's no reason for her to be running an orphanage, and the kids are better off with the other caretaker instead. So, that is why I ran in there and, um, killed her. Pretty much, because, yeah. Anyways, Brynjolf is currently gone. And, uh, I mean, you know... Oh, where's the other guy at? If you're looking for anything to sell for a fair price, <sighs> pretty soon we'll be able to open up this area, but not quite yet. So yeah, we're now in Riften, and things are only going to get weird from here. So, I might actually start doing the the, uh, the Dark Brotherhood quest line, or maybe I'll do the Thieves Guild quest line and completely break uh, my uh, moral standards. So, 
one of the two will happen. But so far we have not been to Solitude nor Markoth. Karth. Markarth. So there's a lot of fun still to be had. There's still the uh, the Dragon Bridge quest um, line with the uh, Lava Jack and there's also that really funny quest where the dude is like storing his mead um, and like hiding it and you can either side with the wife or side with the husband and you literally cause a, dom a domestic dispute over the husband's um, dragon breath mead or dragon fire mead or whatever it is. And it, it's just kind of funny. There's quests like that that put a smile on my face because no one dies, no one gets hurt, no one gets stolen from. You don't have to run all the way across Skyrim for some dumb, stupid, you know, trinket or killing a spirit animal. It's just a fun little domestic dispute and whatnot. There's also another one in Solitude um, where you are literally paid to go and basically flaunt clothing in front of the Jarl. So, it's kind of funny. But, there aren't really a lot of quests where you can just kind of do some fun stuff and not have to have some family altering crisis where you have to run across Skyrim and then alert a family that their husband is suddenly dead. So, yeah. Well, I just realized that I did not get a screenshot and it's pretty, uh, pretty late. So we're going to cause some questions with this screenshot here and, um, Get on top of the Mercer Frey residence. Oh, hey, I could have just done this. And then, or maybe not. No, there's a barrier here to prevent you from a, oh, no, not really. Because if this is a better way to do it, then, no, it's not really a better way. The other way was a lot faster. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, provide uh, the new intro by episode 30 like I said of Minecraft, like I said, just simply because I'm trying to, um, you know, put effort in this one. And I'm currently working on if my, my timing is correct here. So by the time I upload this, I should be working on the audio for it. And... Um, from what I've been looking into now, um, currently, like as I'm actually, like when I'm really doing it right now, because I'm, I'm currently in the middle of doing like both the animation process and, um, the, uh, the audio for it. And it's, it's hard finding an audio effect that doesn't, you know, it's not annoying nor, you know, whatever. And it actually like works with ASMR while also doing what I want it to. So it, it's just a weird sort of, um thing I gotta work with right now and it's it's interesting I might need to download um Linux mix media software and create my own sound effects so or LMMS so let's find a cool time of day because you know there's always something okay this is not a good time of day maybe uh, a little bit further into the day. Mm, let's wait a little bit longer. Maybe until... Let's do another one. Ooh, actually, hold on. Is that... That's actually not bad. So let's angle that. And then... God, listen to them all down there. Let's shoot for 5 p.m. because that's usually when the sun gets low. Right there. Look at that. Let's do that. And right there. Look at that. That's a really good screenshot. Did he just say make love like a saber cat? God, Brynjolf. Jeez, man. Calm down. So... Now all of you know a secret of getting up here. Um, I don't know if this is common knowledge or not. Um, I actually found this out because um, I wanted to, you know, 
get here and get the chill rend early because I really love this sword. So when I saw the barrel, I started kind of just climbing up here to see if I can make it up here. And then I uh, proceeded to spend five hours with a bow and arrow killing every single guard in here. So, yeah, because right here is a really good archer point. And you can just sit right here and just start pegging guards one by one. So, it's, it's fun. So in the meantime... I believe this is when we're going to be calling it a night. I wanted to thank you for watching this far. Let me know if you enjoyed the episode, and if you're wanting to see some more content than just Skyrim, Subnautica, and Minecraft. The reason why I am keeping with those three so far is because they are the most consistent with providing views, and, um, yeah. I am I actually enjoy doing all three of them because I know something about them, so I'm able to actually play through it. Um, Astroneer will continue in February probably because um, I just learned about the fact that they are doing a brand new official like release, like big release update, and that means that I'll have to reboot the entire series because Astroneer will be entirely different after that. So. Just thought I'd put that out there. So Astroneo will return, but in a later date. And as for an update on the projects, um, they're both going all right. Well, only one of them has started. The second one um, shouldn't take as, nearly as long as the first one is, because the second one mostly just depends on, you know, whether or not construction sounds are playing during the day or not, and I can just do binge recordings and um, get a lot of them out of the way. So... The other one required meticulous planning and a lot of R&D, so, or research and development, so. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy the, the next kind of series that I'll be producing. So, I'm really excited to put it out there. Uh, currently, I think that I have about... One out of seven things that I need to do before I can actually start recording the episodes. So, yeah, it's taking a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. Anyways, thank you for watching, and happy.